here with Steve Gagline at the summit of Pikes Peak. Steve, uh, you've been coming to this race for over 30 years, and, you, and you've been a Chevy man the entire time. That is correct also, yes. That's right. I've been, uh, ever since I've been following the hill climb, I've been seeing this uh, Camaro race up the peak, and it's it's one of my favorite cars on, on the course. Thank you. Um, can you tell us about your run? Uh, the weather was terrible. The fog uh, from the start line to, uh, uh, I guess it was above picnic, where it finally broke up, but the fog was just terrible. And then when I got above Glen Cove, the fog came back, and then it got really bad above Devil's Playground. It's it's the most fog for the longest period of the, in my 30 plus years that I've ever seen up here. This is a bad bad year for conditions. Yeah, I mean it, it is. The conditions have been very challenging, but you know, thankfully, we're here. We're standing on the summit of Pikes Peak for the 100th running. What does that mean to you? Well, you know, uh, a race that's endured 100 years and being accepted to come race it and I grew up in Colorado Springs watching the hill climb and then I've done it 30 plus years. Uh, it, it, it's an honor to be here and, and be involved in this program. It's really a cool thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, congratulations for making it to the summit for, I don't even know how many times you've made it to the summit. I'm sure there's been a lot of, uh, you know, shortened courses and things like that throughout the years, but congratulations on making it up here on the 100th running. And you think we'll see this, you in this car back next year? I guarantee you I'll be here next year. All right. Sounds good. Thank All right. You. Thank you.